next up I bought this clamshell which opens up <laughs> now this is a much more substantial size for your coffee <laughs> although probably still a little bit too small for me This week we went to a jumble trail in a village that was quite local to us. The sun was shining and the village was really pretty and we found some lovely things. Oh, tiny teapot. And that requires a sugar bowl and a milk jug. Oh, and that's this is uh, Disney. About these, but they're just really, really pretty. So Andrea's just filming her goodies. Yeah, I've got them out with one hand. Calico. 
vlog on vlog action. <laughs> All sorts of yeah, goodies. They're like little, you know, like little sake cups or something. Two fifty and three is five fifty. Six fifty. That was a fiver. So eleven fifty. Twelve thirteen for fifteen fifty. Is this all in together? Yeah. Yeah. That was two. So seventeen fifty. Eighteen fifty. Is that everything? I think so. Are yeah. you looking at them here? No. I was just okay. looking at the Blue Mountain. Actually. Um. We'll just like. Go on. 18 for everything. And I'll find out where she's put the money. <laughs> I opened this this morning expecting to find biscuits in it. Because <laughs> so that's my biscuit tin. <laughs> Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you.
so hot today. I'm sitting here in my sunroom and I've got my doors open so my hair's flying everywhere because it's quite breezy but I would boil if I shut the door so um, if you're wearing earphones then you can probably hear the lovely bird song in the background and possibly a train or two but anyway let's get into the hall. The night before the Jumble Trail I was watching another American thrifting video and the person I was watching picked up some Blue Mountain pottery and they picked up a really lovely bear which um, they then put on their website for about $60. So I had that fresh in my mind. I've never picked up Blue Mountain pottery before. It's Canadian um, so it's not something that you see a lot in this country and I just thought it was such a coincidence that I'd been watching this video and I'd taken note of this bear which was really lovely and you know the fact that it was worth picking up and then we came to a table and sitting on the table was a very different bear it was a polar bear it's this one and also a penguin And I looked at it and I thought, ah, that looks just like the the type of bear that um, I was watching last night. My husband was talking to the lady who was selling about something else that he wanted to buy. So I waited for them to finish talking. And before I could say anything, he had spotted it himself. And he picked it up and he said, oh, look, this is a lovely bear. And I said, yeah, I was... I was just going to ask about that actually and I asked the lady do you know um, who made this what what the brand is and she said yes it's Blue Mountain Pottery and I thought oh yes yes that's what she'd been talking about last night and she was telling me that you can identify it by the red clay on the base um, it doesn't have any other markings brand new it would have had a sticker on it or something just to say Blue Mountain Pottery um, but it doesn't have any kind of mark on it um, within the pottery itself so that you could identify it as such. Um, but they all have the red clay base. Um, so she had them marked up at three pounds each and my husband said, would you take five for the pair? And she said, yes, she was quite happy. Um, and then she said, hang on I think I've got some more in the house so off she went and she bought out a little duck and this lovely vase and also this gorgeous little baby elephant and um, I said to her, oh, lovely. How, so will that be three pounds each on those as well? And she says, oh, no, no, one pounds each on these. So I've got the whole lot for eight pounds. The only thing is with this little elephant, he doesn't have the red clay bottom. And she did point that out, but she assured me it was definitely Blue Mountain Pottery and it, it does certainly look like Blue Mountain Pottery. It has the same colouring to it. But when you look very closely, which I have done since I've got him home, you can tell that this has really been dipped. This hasn't been painted in the same way that a Blue Mountain Pottery piece would have been painted. I've also googled Blue Mountain Baby Elephant and there are a few different baby elephant designs but nothing that looks like this. Um, so although the lady had assured me it was Blue Mountain, I don't think it is. However, how cute is he? How cute! I was never going to leave him behind anyway. I mean, <laughs> he's just the cutest little elephant. So, you know, even if he sits on my shelf, he was a pound. <laughs> so, um, 
yeah I was I was always going to get him and I was I was never going to lose anything on him and to be honest I think somebody would still love him I love him so I might look after him for a while and then you know put him up for sale or you know if anyone out there thinks that they would really love to have this little elephant in their lives then let me know um, but unfortunately he's not Blue Mountain um, so having done my research I decided that the polar bear I'm going to list for £30 free post so just to get this out of the way everything that I say all, all the prices that I quote it's all with free post so the postage is included in my price um, so the polar bear would be £30 the penguin I'm going to sell for 20 um, the vase I'm going to sell for £20 as well and the duck 15 and those are Etsy prices so if you are interested in anything and you contact me privately through Instagram all links are below then I always do discounts for Instagram so you're always likely to get something a bit cheaper if you contact me privately so with the baby elephant because he's unbranded um, I'm thinking 15 to 20 on him um, because he's just super super cute and I've never seen anything like him before so at another stall um, they had quite a lot of vintage things on their table I think they were just clearing out things from their house and they had a box of um, rummage things all 50p each and I found a pair of silver plated goblets they're not very big try to get an idea of how big they are uh, this is my hand so they're quite small goblets um, but they're silver plated and they say on the bottom grenadier made in England so I'm going to do the pair for £20 and then on the table next to that they had things that were individually priced and there was this little trinket box little ceramic trinket box and it is by Grey Shot England with a tiny little bird on the top which originally we thought might be a sparrow but then our friend Lainey said that it could possibly be a wren either way it's super cute I think I paid two pounds on this um, and it will sell for about 15 pounds and next to it was this salt frog it's really really nicely made it does have a mark on the side which I can't identify I wasn't sure if it looked like a duck or a flower someone on one of the identity forums uh, did suggest it might just be an accidental mark I have a feeling it's not though because the rest of it is so beautifully made I have a feeling they wouldn't have left a mark like that I think that this is a maker's mark but I don't know what it is if anyone has seen anything like that then please let me know in the comments having researched it it looks identical to a Richard Cheshire salt frog it's identical in almost every way except for the fact it doesn't have his signature on it um, so I can only assume that this is not Richard Cheshire um, I did reach out on Instagram and ask if anybody had any idea whether it was Richard Cheshire or whether it was just a good copy and from the responses that I got I can basically ascertain this is a copy it's a very good copy but it's a copy all the same but because it's so lovely I think that this could sell for about £30 this is something that Nick found on one of the tables and he picked it up because he just liked it it's got no markings on it it is cute though so um, it's nothing particularly special so I'm going to try £10 on that next up I bought this 
clamshell which opens up <laughs> so I bought this clamshell <laughs> that opens up it has a little lever here which I obviously can't operate very well it's still got its little tag inside it it is a male product um, stainless chromium plated and it is made in England it comes with a little chrome plated knife and it has a glass insert to it as well when I first picked it up I thought it was maybe some kind of butter dish due to the knife but then somebody in the chat when we did our main haul last Sunday um, pointed out the fact that this is actually a fish knife um, and that it was more than likely going to be a dish for caviar. I don't eat a lot of caviar. I'm vegan now. I don't eat any caviar now. Um, so I have absolutely no idea what a caviar dish would look like because I've never used one. Um, but I have done some research now and, and yes, it is definitely a clamshell caviar dish. If you ever find a silver plated one of these, obviously the resale value on them is so much higher. But this isn't silver plated, sadly. It's only chrome plated. Um, so I'd probably get about £15 back on that. This is something that actually Nick picked out from um, a rummage box and showed me, um, thinking that it might be something I was interested in. Um, it definitely was. It's a really lovely vintage scarf. which looks like that. Obviously, I can't get the whole thing in to show you, but the design is really, really pretty. Looks like that around the edges. It's rolled. And it's got a gorgeous design in the center. It's It feels satin. It's got a satiny feel to it. So, it's not silk sadly but it's still beautiful and it's in lovely condition so even though it's not silk I think it will still sell for about £10. Walking up to one of the stalls um, there was a little boy there with his mum and the little boy said everything is a pound here everything is a pound and I heard one of the other ladies say um, I understand everything is a pound, is that correct? And his mum said, yeah, yeah, everything's a pound. <laughs> so <laughs> the little boy was right. He wasn't just trying to, you know, undersell all of his mum's stuff. But sitting on the floor was this very lovely vintage enamelware casserole dish. It's certainly been used over the years and it's difficult to pick up on the camera, but it does have does have some marks to it where it's been in storage and it's been used but it still looks quite good inside to be honest again I wasn't sure on the brand on this the um, Google searches that I did didn't come back with anything that looked like it but Cheryl who is pound girl on Instagram um, got in touch and said she thought she'd had a very similar one which was red and white and she she listed hers as judge so I did a quick search using judge as a keyword and still couldn't find anything that looked like it so it could be judge but I don't have 100% confirmation on that I saw something similar to this online um, very similar in its design um, but it had black and white dots on it and it was listed as being Danish so I'm still confused by this. I'm not sure if it is by the British brand Judge or if it is vintage Danish enamel wear. Um, so I think that when I list it, I will just simply say it's vintage enamel wear 1970s and, um, and go from there. But I should be able to get £25 on that easily, I think. I picked up this lovely v &A set. It is 
a little creamer milk jug and a little sugar bowl. The design is Brompton Rose and it's not vintage but it is beautiful. I have sold some V&A um, pottery before I think I sold a bowl and that went quite quickly and for a good price so I knew this was worth picking up anyway. I think I paid about two pounds on it and I should be able to get 20 pounds plus post on eBay for this so definitely worth picking up V&A pottery if you see it. This vintage Mickey came from the same stall that we bought the scarf and um, my husband picked up a few other bits from there as well. They actually had the most gorgeous dog that they were joking to us that they would sell for 50p and we said if, if you're selling for 50p we'd have him in a flash but we know you're joking so <laughs> we would have had him. He was so lovely, he was so gorgeous and he's one of those dogs that smiles as well i don't know if you've ever seen a dog that smiles but it's so funny and he came out to meet us he was wagging his tail so furiously with a big grin all over his face <laughs> and he was just so beautiful um yeah 50p oh we'd have had him for 50 pounds um but you could tell that the family loved him so much they would never have parted with him really um but instead we came away with a very cute uh, vintage Disneyland Paris Mickey Mouse. Um, just trying to find the label to show you there. He's vintage 90s and should be able to sell him for about £15. That's if I can part with him. This set I picked up isn't vintage but I really liked the design on them. They are little pottery tumblers, which are multi-purpose, I suppose. You could use them to put little plants in, or you could use them for coffee. You could drink wine from them. Um, they're also very decorative. They're really, really pretty. That's what the other two look like. I was very tempted to keep them but I can't justify it because I can't think what I would use them for. Um, I don't have any smaller plants to put in them and I like a big pint of coffee so these are way too small for me. I've got nice wine glasses so I don't need anything to drink wine out of and although there would be beautiful decorative pieces I think somebody else will get more use out of them. So I'll put them up for sale on eBay for £10 plus postage. Now this is a much more substantial size for your coffee. <laughs> Although probably still a little bit too small for me. If you've ever seen my lovely Kath Kidston mugs that I drink out of, that's more my thing. Um, but these are a bit closer. These are called breakfast cups because everybody needs more tea or coffee at breakfast time. You know what I'm saying. This, however, was my pickup of the day. It is the Coleco collection by Burley. And it's very collectible and very sought after. So I've got four of these cups, four of these saucers, and I paid £5 for them, which was a bargain. And I'm going to set my price at £45 for the set. I've seen somebody on Etsy trying to get £48 for just one cup and saucer. I think that's, that's pushing it too far. I think that's way overpriced, in my opinion. Who knows? They may sell it and I'll be proved wrong. But I'm going a bit more conservative and I'm going for the £45 for the set of four. You can honestly see why this is so collectible, can't you? The design is beautiful. Really, really pretty. Pigeon. I said lastly, but then I remembered that I picked up this basket. Um, but this is a keeper. This is something that I picked up 
with a mind to giving to my daughter to use for storage when she goes away to university. Um, I just thought that would be really useful. It's a very sturdy basket and she can use it for bathroom things or for books or whatever. Or she could even use it for going out and about for her groceries or taking out on a picnic with her friends. It was only a pound and I think it will be quite useful. Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this one. I always appreciate your feedback so if you want to drop a comment below or um, give us a thumbs up if you liked it or a thumbs down if you really didn't like it and if you enjoyed this kind of video then I'll be regularly posting um, different thrifting videos that I do uh, because this is what I do for my job so we're always out and about sourcing and if that's something that interests you then um, I hope you'll think about subscribing but until next time take care everyone stay safe look after yourselves and I'll see you in another video very soon. Bye.